Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan and on this video I'll be telling you everything you need to know about the USFL. Watch until the end to find out. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's get into the video. You might be thinking to yourself, why do we care about another spring football league? If you look at the last two spring football leagues that ended, there were actually some unfortunate stuff that ended both of those leagues and they were completely different. In the case of the AAF, they were overly dependent on becoming the official NFL Developmental League and they had absolutely no funding. The AAF had some good concepts like the Sky Judge. The last time a spring football league was prominent, it was the XFL and they were absolutely crushing it before, unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic came in and ruined everything that league built. Now let's talk about the new USFL. There are a total of 8 teams in the USFL that make up 2 divisions, and those divisions are the North Division and the South Division. The teams in the North Division are the Michigan Panthers, Philadelphia Stars, Pittsburgh Maulers, New Jersey Generals, and the teams in the South Division are the Tampa Bay Bandits, New Orleans Breakers, Birmingham Stallions, Houston Gamblers. Each of the teams were named after clubs that were part of the original league which played during the spring from 1983 to 1985 before ceasing operations. How many games will be played in the USFL season? That is a really good question. There will be a total of 43 USFL games featuring 4 games a week during a 10 week regular season followed by two playoff games and a championship game. Teams in the same division will play each other twice, and teams in the other division once. Each team will have a 38-player active roster, as well as a practice squad consisting of seven players. Where will the USFL games be held this season? All USFL regular season games will take place in the city of Birmingham, Alabama at two venues, Protective Stadium and Legion Field. The semifinals and championship game will be held at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton, Ohio. Who are the eight USFL head coaches? They are Jeff Fisher, Larry Fedora, Mike Riley, Skip Holtz, Kirby Wilson, Bart Andrews, Todd Haley, Kevin Sumlin. If you want to see my video about ranking these eight USFL head coaches from last to first, please click on the link in the description below. Here are some key dates to remember. Kickoff weekend, April 16th and 17th. Semifinals, June 25th. USFL Championship Game, July 3rd. How much money does USFL athletes make? Per multiple player sources, each USFL athlete is going to get paid $600 per week for training camp. $1,500 per week if they make it to the practice squad and $4,500 per week if they make it to the active roster in addition to victory bonuses, which is pretty nice if you ask me. So, what are the rules of the new football league, the USFL? A touchdown remains worth 6 points. There is a standard 1-point conversion from a 15-yard line and 2-point conversion from the 2-yard line. There is an additional 3-point conversion possible from the 10-yard line. In addition to the onside kick, teams now have another method of retaining possession after scoring. They can choose to convert a 4th and 12th situation on the 33rd-yard line, which, if accomplished, rewards the team with the possession. All first downs will stop the clock during the 2-minute warning at the end of each half, unlike what happens in the NFL. Overtime drills goes to a shot like in soccer, where each team has three attempts to convert from the opponent's two-yard line. If scores are still tied after that, it goes to sudden death. One of the best stories that came from a spring football league was in the XFL, and that man's name was none other than P.J. Walker. He was absolutely an electrifying athlete that ended up winning the XFL MVP and ended up reuniting with his head coach, Matt Rule, on the Carolina Panthers. It just shows you that a spring football league has ended up changing a man's life, and I really hope we see more stories that kind of resemble the ones that Kurt Werner had in the years past. If you guys want more USFL content, please go in the comments below and say more USFL content. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified all new videos in the future. Make sure you share this video with friends and family, and please get this video out there. My name is Nathan, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to just keep loving sports, and I'll see you next time.